Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special Picks of the Month video of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. This time around, our topic is 10 nights that you might want to pick up before March of the Machine. Now, first off, a quick note about this video series. Obviously, it comes out once a month, but it does go out to gold patrons first. By the time you see this on YouTube, it could be about 24 to 48 hours later. Some of the prices might have shifted a little bit, but I'm not expecting big changes in the short term for the 10 cards we're talking about today. So why are we talking about Knights today? It's because March of the Machine has a commander deck coming out in Esper Colors called Cavalry Charge. It is a Knight Tribal Commander deck. And if you've been paying attention over the years, you may know now that Tribal Commander Precons seem to lead to the biggest speculation and to the largest price jumps for cards in the secondary market. I think that's because Tribal strategies are first off popular, but they're also easy for many to wrap their heads around when it comes to speculation. Certain cards are just going to jump out as possible good upgrades. Now remember though, this is not a gameplay video. We're not necessarily discussing the best knights to play in Commander. We're instead looking at cards that have the best chance to go up in price as the release nears, so that hopefully you can pick up potential upgrades for the deck before any spikes occur. But don't forget, with the exception of one of these 10 cards we're talking about today, they could be reprinted at any time, including in the Commander deck itself. Quickly though, before we look at those 10 cards, I do want to remind you if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order March of the Machine products there, and that does include the Commander decks, but they have a whole lot of other things on their website as well. Remember, if your order's over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated, so thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to go through these cards in color pie order, although most of them are white. The first is Adeline Resplendent Cathar. The copy from Innistrad Midnight Hunt is currently at $14.22. The Innistrad Double Feature copy is at $14.50, so pretty close. I like this card a lot because knights are known for being aggressive, creating small token creatures, then supporting those creatures and going wide. This card is perfect for that kind of strategy. Now, Adeline already gets a good amount of play, hence the price tag. In Standard, you see this in Esper Legends, Mono White, Aggro, and more. Pioneer, this is in Mono White and Four Color Humans. This is also in Modern Humans builds, and it's a fairly popular commander. Additionally, it's in the 99 of a lot of builds in that format, like Ish and Two Heavens is one, for example. This card has been getting more play there recently, too, in new builds. It's in Mondrake Glory Dominus, and it's a good upgrade to the Phyrexia all be one Rebellion Rising commander deck. And it shows up in fresh builds around a card from there. Nayali Sun's Vanguard. Battle Angels of Tyres next. This is $13.94 currently. Solid commander card in a variety of decks already. Since it's an angel, you see this in the popular Giada Font of Hope builds, but it's also in Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale, and much more. It is another card found in the new Mondrak Glory Dominus decks too in the format. Overall, I do like this as a potential upgrade to the Knight Tribal deck. It has Myriad as well as card draw and ramp potential. Guardian of Faith. This one's cheaper though, $3.18. Not a huge investment here if you decide to take a risk on it. Nice affordable pickup right now and we have seen in recent years how phasing can be helpful in commander games. In Pioneer, this is sometimes the amount of white human sideboards and it's in several commander decks including Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale. Hero of Blade Hold is next, $15.28, but this really does feel like it's due for a reprint. We'll have to see what happens. I like that it has Battle Cry and can get you soldier tokens when you're able to be aggressive. Currently, you do see this in many commander builds, like Ishin 2 Heavens is one, but this too is getting more commander play in some new decks. And that is good to notice and keep in mind because many times we see a card spike after more than one product pushes the demand. As far as those new builds in commander, this is in Mondrak Glory Dominus and Rhea Ivor Bane of Blade Hold. It's also another good upgrade to the Rebellion Rising deck, and in fresh builds around Othari Sun's Glory from there. Kinsbell Cavalier, a couple copies of this one. The Morning Tide one is at $4.28. The Dual Decks Knights vs. Dragons copy is at $4.14, so pretty close. When it comes to why I would use this in a Tribal Knight deck, well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Knight creatures you control have Double Strike. And there's only these two printings of the card. It's been a while since it's been printed. Maybe it's possibly due for a reprint. 
But again, it's not a super expensive card, so you won't be burned too badly if you pick up a copy. You do see this currently in some different commander decks, including Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale again. Knight Exemplar, two copies of this one. The Magic 2011 copies at $16.13. The Dual Decks Knights vs. Dragons copy is $6.29. This one, though, did get some other premium printings. It is part of the Artist Series Victor Adams Minguez Secret Lair, and it was one of the big box store foil resale promos in 2011. So compared to the last card, there are some extra copies in circulation that you might not notice at first glance. Still though, this is a great support card for Knight Tribal Commander decks, and it's already in several builds in the format, including, you guessed it, Sir Gwyn Hero of Ashvale. Alright, here's the one that won't be reprinted because it's on the reserve list. Knights of Thorn, $11.99. Is it a good card? No. Will it be a good upgrade to the upcoming deck? No. But it is an older reserve list card, it's a knight, and you know speculators will zero in on this card as the release of March of the Machine gets closer. If you want a copy for your collection, well keep a close eye on the pricing, and try to get in before any potential spike. Next we got a real budget card here for you, Valiant Knight. 50 cents, that's all, 50 cents. Very cheap. Hasn't been reprinted yet. If it does get reprinted, well, you won't feel too bad paying 50 cents. And if it doesn't get reprinted, I can see this moving up in price at least to a degree. It is another solid support card for Commander Knights builds. You see this in a few different builds in the format, including, yeah, Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale. Here's another really cheap pickup. Hawken Stronghold Scourge. The Cold Snap copies at $2.42. The Mystery Booster copies at $1.10. Now, when you use this card, you do have to find a way to get it into your graveyard first, but the payoff for a knight build is pretty good in the end. In a commander game where you start off with higher life totals, the drawback's not that bad. Again, you see it in some different commander builds, including Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale. The last card today is another pretty affordable one, Vona Butcher of Magan, $3.57. I like that it gives you an opportunity to deal with problematic non-land permanents. The ability, although you can only use it once per turn, is reusable throughout the game. The Vigilance and Lifelink are nice, especially with some way to buff knights on the battlefield. Currently, it's a fairly popular commander, and it's in the 99 of a number of builds in the format, including the popular Edgar Markov decks, since it's also a vampire. Alright, that is going to do it for our March 2023 Picks of the Month video. Remember to join us this weekend and every weekend for our regular episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then though, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.